field. So got those injectors out of that old engine. Um, we have another buddy who uh, happens to run a lot of big butts and he happened to have a fully rebuilt KTA 600 horsepower 1150 Cummins sitting in his shop for a rainy day. And he's like, hey, I just finished seating and uh, I'll just go ahead and pull those injectors out of that thing for you guys. You guys can use them for now. Man, thank you, Dusty. Ugh. So, I think we have enough injectors to get both these tractors going. Um, and uh, the process today, I, the mechanic is available. He's gonna hopefully come first thing in the morning here, start tearing into one, pull the injectors out, put the old injectors back into the 525 that we had, the old from the old engine that we had. Then he'll have to set the valves again, set the injectors again, and then if it doesn't smoke like a coal train, we're good to go and he can get running. And then when we get the injectors for the other one, we'll do the same thing and hopefully get both trackers rolling again today. There's rain coming this weekend, so we've got about two days, two and a half days of finished seed and peas, which we only need like half of an afternoon, and to spray them all, and that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm heading out to the field, you'll get the sprayer going again, and I'm just gonna start knocking out acres to get ready for this rain coming. Oh, don't worry, old trusty. You'll be trusty again. Don't worry. Today. Love you. I suppose. Let's mix mate it. Let's see. Thousand gallons, five gallon work, pre spray. Yep, everything's set the same I had it yesterday. All right. Looks like 37.5 gallons of glyphosate, five gallons of surfactant, and 957 gallons of water out of our steady and Duraplast tank. So let's fire the pumps up. Oh. I love it. Need pumps with starters on them. That'd make life a little bit easier. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fire her up. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, we got a little bit of a later start today because we we're waiting for Brian to show up. I made a couple calls last night and uh, a good buddy of ours that has five big buds and uh, I knew he had a lot of parts. He had an engine sitting on the floor that he rebuilt and uh, had new injectors in it or rebuilt injectors and he was willing and, and I cannot tell him thank you enough he was willing to pull the injectors out of that motor and then that way we can at least get going and we will work out a deal whatever we can make happen but uh, that being said we got the 450 motor injectors right there in the box clean them up they look they look decent we'll find out when we put them in the tractor and then Brian up here that is ahead of me in his service truck, he's got the 600 uh, injectors from our buddy, Dusty. So we're gonna go through and swap injectors out and we're hoping that's the problem, but uh, what a deal. Uh, it's been it's been a lot going on. A lot of electrical problems with the carts, uh, a lot of hydraulic problems with the tractor, a um, little bit of a transmission issue on the 600 bud, uh, these injectors that are going bad, uh, a little bit of a problem with the little bud that we had to kind of just slightly go through and it's been one thing after another after another after another and then Nick is actually out there trying to spray we have the big brute that's down because we're trying to switch it over to the new spray system so we only have uh, the patchy which is awesome and so it's been it's been a lot going on this has not been a very good start for a season but it's a start and we only have we only have like two, maybe 300 acres left of yellow peas to seed and then we're done with the peas. But we're getting there. And then we got about 5,000 of spring wheat to put in. Now Wiggly Waxter, Brad or Wiggles, he's out there on the ro land roller and uh, he's getting that done. He's having fun too, by the way. Okay, let's put some injectors in. Hopefully that fixes the problem because we gotta get seeding, obviously. All right, 
Are we getting ready to start it? Yep. We okay. can start it. Let's okay. see what damage we can cause. It's got a little bit of a rough idle, but it needs to warm up some. Get some of that air out of the system because, well, all the injectors are pulled out. But, uh, kind of sounds like it's missing, but we won't know until we start running it. These old injectors are actually running pretty good. It was kind of spitting and puffing a little bit at the beginning, but now it's just, it's clean. It looks good. Oh yeah. No crazy smoke coming out of it. It's running great. That means we can actually get it going and seating. So what we're gonna do is since he's running, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the other spud and put some other injectors in it and get that one going too. Yeah, what a shame. You get those injectors rebuilt and uh, apparently something wrong, either bad parts or they didn't assemble them correctly. I don't know, but sweet, it's running. And we're at the 600 big butt. Let's pull those injectors out and put some different ones in. Ha! All right, get busy. Port here with the screen on it. Okay. Typically, the port for that one kind of comes from that. Direction. Okay, so you kind you can see where the yeah, you can see is. where the holes are. There's and then one, you're... there's one hole over here which is in this upper compartment. But that's the return. Yeah, and then that one down there is that one. So this one's gonna go in that way, and just like that. The guy knows his stuff. That's all I have to say. Okay. Looks good. That bad boy. Set it in there like that. I might know a few few things too, but <laughs> not as much as him. I just know that push rod needs to go in there, so. So what he's doing is he's taking oil and dumping it and then wiping it around the O-rings on that injector because there's three O-rings. You got two compartments in there. One's a pressure and then one's a return. Or it's a return, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so if yeah. it builds up too much pressure, it can go back. And so he wants to make sure that we don't cut those O-rings when we put them in, they'll just slide right in. That little bit of oil, it'll burn right through the system and it won't hurt the tractor. And then after he gets those carefully put in, you take a hammer and you smash them really hard. <laughs> Get all that oil out of the system. You just beat it out of there. Seed it. Good. Seed it. Good. I like it. So he's installing the retainer ring so the injector doesn't pop out with the compression. He's going to put those on top. And we're going to take the bolts on either side, put them down in there. And then you got to torque them down to, was it 13? 13. 13 uh, foot pounds. Foot. And then once those are tight, then we'll take these rocker arms, put those bad on or bad boys back on, and then we'll do the adjustments for that so that way everything's correct, and then it should run. What's interesting is the injector, one of the injectors on the other tractor had a lot of carbon build up on the tip, and I think it's this one here is kind of looking as well. You can see a little bit of a residue on it, and to the eye that's what we kind of noticed but it's so hard to say what happened if there were just bad parts going into those injectors the fact that we had both tractors go um, I would say I don't think it's a operator error of uh, putting them together I think it's just maybe bad parts that they put in there so but we'll talk to the people that did them and see what happened and send these back down there and see if they can get them corrected the right way. All 
All right, injectors are in. It's all buttoned up. They're adjusted. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, the keys are right here too. It probably won't start without keys, will it? Sounds pretty good. All right, he is good to go. He's gonna take off and I'm gonna jump in here and start seeding. This is actually, to be honest, <laughs> this is my first time seeding this year because I just haven't. I've been too busy running around trying to take care of other stuff, keep things going. And uh, this is, yeah. So I get to get to play around with this tractor. I'm excited. Oh yeah, I need to turn on that uh, switch over there. I gotta remember how to do this. The Welker Farms news alert. Big Bud operator still held hostage. Day five. Wow. It's been a tough day four. Uh, or four days uh, just trying to get the equipment to run smooth but I think we've got it uh, finally figured out the hydraulic in this tractor is working great so it's smooth the cart is having no issues I don't have an issue if that doesn't have an issue and then the injectors were the problem as you saw earlier in the video and no smoke running smooth wow what a start to 2023 we are going to finish the peas today i'm on the last field scott is now running the other uh, 600 uh, while nick is spraying the peas that we've already seeded and rolled and trying to get that done there's a little weather event coming in, in a couple days um, if we can get it seeded I mean uh, sprayed after it's rolled um, then it's great to get some moisture on it so yeah it's working great um, I'm just kind of juggling here on the monitor as you can see that back tank is running low it was low before I filled but I didn't want to put anything in it I want to run it empty so that we only have two tanks to clean out uh, to switch over to spring wheat so when I finally get that tank down I calibrated it or just set the you know you can set the uh, figures to any amount as you're going along and so I've got it set down and the other two are bumped up so it should be running out here in another couple months or rounds and then I'll recalibrate these two figures to proportionally to get the seating rate I need this tank is bigger than that tank that's the smallest tank that's a hundred bushels that's about 186 and that's about 142 or 43 we work out the math uh, not this kind of workout that uh, that can add up too but we uh, figure it out and then put the right numbers in and it'll do the calculating for us so anyway just thought I'd give you an update on it we'll uh, catch you in the next event okay buddy Hang on. Oh, <laughs> you're so heavy oh. All that Lego building that you can get stronger. Oh. Whoopsie. Hey, this is Taryn. This is my oldest daughter. Then we got Roscoe, which is in the green. He's my second. And then we have Raleigh. And Raleigh's right there. And this is a scary looking face. Ah! She is just like her mother. What? Look at what? Look at what? Did you fix it? Did you fix it? Uh, this in here and this year. Uh, so really? It can hold. Raleigh, look at the camera. Ah. Uh, Raleigh, right here, how do you see? Yeah? Raleigh, what do you see behind there? This. What are you doing? Ah, these are done. 
He beat me to it. Yes, the peas are done. So we're gonna empty out what we have left in this cart into the truck. He's got a little tiny bit more to seed. So we'll just barely put some more into his drill and then, uh, then they're done. He jumped the gun a little bit, okay? But anyways, that's a nice cart. Oh, I want it. I don't want it to ever leave. Two carts. We need two carts like that. We definitely do. Need or want? A bit of both, actually. <laughs>